Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income and I'm your host, Kristen Ostrander. Did you know that time is a limited resource? I mean, that really kind of goes without saying, right? Time is so limited to, for most of us. Most of the time you hear people say, I don't have time, I'm too busy, I've got this going on, I've got so much on my plate, right? And because time is a limited resource, I want to help as many people as I can, but I can't do it all. And this is a reminder for you in case you haven't, in case you missed it on your email, you missed it in the Facebook group, that I've decided to spend my time nurturing my Wholesale Bundle students. And after eight years, we're closing our free Facebook group on January 31st, 2023. Closing it. So if you're a member of the group, it's going to be closed down. And I know that's disappointing for a lot of people. A lot of people are disappointed. Oh, you know, I look forward to this group. I understand, but time, time's a limited resource. And I want to be able to help people fully. Number one, I want to make sure people aren't being helped in a false way. There's been a lot of answers to questions that people have kind of been misled as far as people that are unqualified giving answers to like G10 exemption issues and um, brand registry and IP claims and kind of giving black hat information. And unfortunately, I don't want anyone to be led astray by this false information. So when, because the group is so big and because there's so many people contributing, which is awesome and amazing, and I love peer learning. I love when um, this is what the group was created for. The problem is when things get too big, things get lost and people get led astray by wrong and false answers. For example, most recently, there was somebody asking about how do you put two brands together and try to create a, a bundle from a couple different brands. One of the brands is restricted. And someone just told them to buy a UPC, reuse a UPC from, or you use a UPC from another item from that brand and just create a new listing with it on there. Y'all, that's literally against Amazon's terms of service. And yet someone else is telling someone in our group to do things the wrong way. And those just slip through the cracks when there's thousands and thousands of people commenting and doing things like that. We only we have a small staff here. We can't field every single comment. And then if someone's telling that to somebody over here and then they do it and get suspended or they do that and get in trouble, we don't want that. We want you to have the best, most up to date information about wholesale bundling on the marketplace. And we have it in Wholesale Bundles 3.0 in our student-led group. So don't worry, there's plenty of ways to stay connected. Um, there's three things that you can do to stay connected with us and Mommy Income because the show is going on. The podcast is going on. The YouTube channel is going on. The, there's a new Wholesale Bundle student community. If you are a Wholesale Bundle student, check your inbox for your personal invitation to our student-only community. It's for students. Number two, you can stay connected by subscribing to all that we have. So right now, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're on the podcast, make sure you're subscribed and that you get all of the notifications when the new podcast comes out. Number three is to subscribe, mommyincome.com forward slash, you guessed it, subscribe, and you're going to get our weekly newsletter. We're not interested in spamming you. We're only interested in giving you the information you need to grow your Amazon business. We are super, super focused here at Mommy Income. Wholesale bundles, growing on Amazon, growing your brand and growing your business on multiple marketplaces, specifically with Amazon. So there's plenty of ways to stay connected. Mommyincome.com forward slash subscribe. If you're already a student, you are invited to the new Facebook group where it's student only. And if you're not a student, this is your chance to become a student of the Wholesale Bundle system. It's all brand new for 2023, literally just launched. Everything's all brand new. Every G10 exemption, every brand registry, every creating your listing and knowing exactly how to create your listing titles and your, your um, bundle brand and all of the different things that you're doing, all of it is all updated for 2023. Brand new Wholesale Bundles 3.0 training. It is college level, y'all. It literally qualifies to get community college credit. That's how many hours of training and video it is. So you're welcome. And if you want to be a student, mommyincome.com forward slash system, this is your last chance to use this coupon code Facebook. Just use the coupon code Facebook. That's just a reminder the Facebook group is closing. It's only good to January 31st. And of course, you can continue listening here to the Amazon files, but that goes without saying, right? I mean, you guys are like my online besties here. I spend time with you every single week talking about your business, getting in your business, challenging you to get out of your comfort zone 
challenging you to grow and change and adapt and move forward because your dreams won't chase themselves. And you still have those, right? Right? Did you just start this business because you wanted a little side hustle? That's great. I hope it's working out for you. We're here to support you. Been here to support you for over eight years. Still going, still working. Now I wanted to share with you something, something really interesting. I heard this long, long ago, but then it just was refreshed and brought to my mind again recently. And I wanted to share it with you. It's an old uh, Native American story that has been passed on for many generations. Um, the exact uh, reference to it is kind of unknown because it's a generational story that's been adapted and taken from, you know, which tribe and which where. I, I believe it was originally attributed to a Cherokee Native American tribe, but either way, I'm sorry in advance that I don't know the exact origin, only that it's Native American, only that it's been passed down for generations, and that's the best research I could come up with with it, but it's an amazing little story, and it kind of really speaks to our mindset about all the things, right? Because we're fully, fully human and we have this conflict going on so i'm going to tell you the story of the tale of two wolves you may have heard it if not great and if you have just lean in and listen again and let it apply to where you're at right now in your life have you ever read something once and you're like oh yeah that's fine and it hit you different when you read it some other time some other place some other circumstance that happens to me all the time especially with my scripture verses i'll be reading something and the way that it will grab me and grab my heart and grab my attention today is different than how it grabbed my attention say five years ago reading the same stuff yet it impacts you in a different way each time. That's why they say the Bible is living and active. Because as you change and grow, the application changes and grows as well. But that's neither here nor there with this story. The Tale of Two Wolves. Now the story features two characters, a Native American grandfather and his grandson. And he explains to the grandson that every soul is fighting a battle within him. Every soul has a fight going on between in between him, between two wolves fighting within your soul. Every soul has a fight going on between two wolves fighting within. The fight takes place within us. Both of the wolves have great power. One wolf is evil, angry, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, falsehood, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, ego. That's one wolf with great power. The other wolf also has great power. This wolf displays something completely different this, wor this wolf is equally powerful, but with joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humanity, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, faith, ambition, excitement. Both wolves within are fighting to the death. The same fight is going on inside each and every one of us. Two wolves fighting to the death, both equally powerful. The grandson took a moment to reflect. And at last he looked up to his grandfather and he said, well, which wolf is going to win? The grandfather gave him a simple reply. My son, the one that wins is the one you feed. Now this serves as a powerful reminder to us that every human we come in contact with is fighting the same battle. Regardless of the type of person you are or the circumstances that you're in of what kind of life that you lead, you will find yourself battling conflicting emotions on a regular basis. And whether the fight is between anger and peace, resentment and compassion, it's important to realize that conflicting and feelings inside of you and feed the values and choices that matter most to you. 
So here's the million dollar question. Which wolf are you feeding? Which one are you feeding? Are you feeding anger, resentment, sorrow, grief, regret, guilt, shame? Or are you feeding peace and understanding and forgiveness and kindness and generosity and love? Because the power comes from what you feed. Think about it for a second. How do you feel when you're starving? How do you feel? You feel sluggish and tired and crabby and low energy and like you just want to fall on the couch and hope food like falls in your face. <laughs> At least that's for me how I feel when I'm starving. When I have all that, want to be fed, right? You almost will eat anything. This is that wolf inside of you. The wolf that wants to be fed. They both want to be fed. It's this battle inside. The wolf of shame or guilt or regret wants to be fed. Do you know that living things cannot grow if they're being, if they're not being fed? Just think about what our body needs to stay alive, to stay focused. Water, food, sleep, nourishment, movement, love, care. So what about the other wolf? How do you feel when you're fully satisfied, when you've had that great meal, when you fed something, you feel alive, you feel regenerated, you feel satisfied, you feel motivated and energized to keep moving. You grow, you change. It has great power. The question is, which one are you feeding and how often? How often are we giving our ability, our power, to something negative, to something bad, to something wrong? Now, y'all, I am not sitting here saying that things don't happen to us. Y'all, you don't know what I'm going through right now, let me tell you. But I'm all about sharing scars, not scabs, and certain things are healing, so we will discuss that at a later time. But every day, every moment we have an opportunity to feed one of our wolves and i can feed anger resentment shame frustration blame or i can feed ambition and joy and love and generosity and excitement and creativity the question is who or what are you feeding who or what are you giving your power to because your power is your own and we give it away every day. But to what and to who? You know, I'm not much of a gardener. Um, as a matter of fact, I, you know, if there's a green thumb, I have a brown thumb. I, I like everything I try to grow, especially indoors, a plant, it just dies. I just like, I, it's not a regular routine. You don't have to feed like a cat. You can feed a cat every, you have to feed a cat several times a day. But like a plant, you can like not water it for like 30 days and then it starts to wilt and you're like, oh, I better give this plant some water. I've never been able to keep a plant alive until, until a lady, an amazing lady I worked with, gosh, I want to say like three years, three years ago now, three or four years ago, um, as, become, as I became her client, she sent me this amazing plant and at first i laughed because i'm like oh my gosh this lady has no idea who i am she's I, this is a beautiful plant that she sent me and i'm literally gonna kill it her i just hope she didn't spend a lot of money on it y'all the plant it's still alive it's in my office i somehow managed to put it in a window and just give it enough water to not die like many times it literally lost almost all of its leaves and i was like oh no i think i can keep it alive and give it a little bit more water. And I try to water it once a week. I even set a reminder on my phone and then I'll forget about it because it's not a priority, right? It's not a priority. It's like, oh, this little plant over there, it's great. It doesn't enhance my life. You know, don't really think about it that much. I'm not much of a um, green thumb, again, brown thumb. But somehow this plant is just meant to be alive. It's just meant to live, even though I've tried to kill it. But it also serves as this like amazing metaphor is that when you are not nourishing something, anything, your business, yourself, your relationships, your plants, <laughs> your animals, your fur babies, they won't survive. 
not for long. What happens to the plant when I don't water it? The leaves fall off, it gets crusty, it gets dry, and eventually it's going to fall over and not replenish at all. It's going to die. So when's the last time you fed the good wolf? How often are you feeding the wolf that's inside, that's fighting for you? Not against you, for you. Fighting to the death to win. Joy, peace, hope, love, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, faith, ambition, creativity. What are you feeding those things? What are you feeding it? Are you giving time and space for those things? Because they're choices. They are. I don't always make the perfect ones. I make a lot of bad ones. I pray a lot. <laughs> because I know what I want to do and I know what I feel like doing, but then I also know what's right. I also know which wolf I want to feed. I know that if I feed the anger, the resentment, the injustice, the envy, the sorrow, the regret, the greed, the arrogance, the ego, I feed those, those are what's going to grow. And we can feed these in such subtle ways can feed them by social media. Hello, comparison. Let's just put that out there. More and more and more now, we have people holding up measuring sticks and telling us where we belong on that stick that they created. Comparison is the thief of joy. Joy's on this wolf. This wolf over here is comparison. We've got a lot of those conflicting feelings. But what do we know about our feelings? What do we know about these things? I will tell you, trusting the facts and not the feelings is really the first start. There's a whole chapter of this in Dream Big, Set Small, my book. If you don't have it, go get it. Audible, Amazon, uh, ebook, signed copy from the website, however you need to get Dream Big, Step Small and read, trust the facts, not the feelings. If you tend to be overwhelmed by feelings and are emotional like me, no shame, no wrongness in that at all. But we also need to get a handle on it because we can't always act out of emotion because that happens and then regret happens, right? If we outbursts of anger are not always, oh, usually to our detriment, right? So when I say we're going to have, you know, more control over our emotions, it's not because emotions are bad. It's because things can get out of control when we don't take the reins and steer our emotions in the way that we want them to go. Again, which wolf are you feeding and what are you feeding it? Now, when I say feed, I don't just mean feed. I mean, nourish. Now, some of us are not going to give intellectual assent and say, yes, I nourish the bad wolf. I nourish the angry wolf. But do you? Now, this is my hug and my slug, right? This is my tough love. This is the one I tell you that's the hug and a slug. I'm going to slug you and then I'm going to hug you and tell you it's going to be okay. But I got to be, I got to be truthful with you. Someone has to challenge Someone has to challenge that. If you want to grow and change, you've got to do things differently. So what are you nourishing? Do you know what you put in is what comes out? What you put in your brain, what you put in your ears, what you put in your eyes, what you put in your mouth, what goes in comes out. So if you are nourishing negativity and anger and sadness and injustice and ego and all of those things that's what's gonna that's what you're putting in say think about the tv shows that you're watching or the books that you're reading or the people you're listening to are you all about hearing rants and raves and angry and put everyone pointing out all the negative stuff because what you put in is what's going to come out or are you nourishing the parts of you that you want to grow If you starve it, it can't survive. My plant, for example, if you starve the angry wolf, it can't survive. If you feed it, it will grow. Now I know, maybe some of you guys are sitting here like, oh my gosh, it's all of this emotional stuff. 
We were talking about business, weren't we? Okay. Fair enough. Let's talk about your business. There are two wolves there, too, don't you know? Two wolves. What are you feeding? Frustration? Low sales? Low margins? Price tanking? G10 G exemption issues? Branding issues? IP claims? Are you feeding those? Or are you feeding brand registry, product development, framework research, step-by-step -step processes? Whatever you nourish, whatever you feed, aka wherever you put your time, money, and energy, that's what grows, period. So if you're feeding complaining and venting, and frustration and anger and pulling your hair out. That's what's going to grow. But if you recognize those things, kind of like my dead plant that almost almost died. You recognize it and you go, oh, this is not what I want to grow. I want to grow over here. I want, did you know how to raise your profit margin? I mean, I can give you this quick tip right now. Get better products with higher margins. Increase that. Creating bundles. Your single private label product is kind of floundering and not really making enough sales. Create a bundle. Your bundle sales are lacking. Look at the customer reviews of others. See what they're doing. See what the customers are asking for and do more research. Instead of complain, drive that energy to something that's going to nourish your business and provide growth. I don't know about y'all, but my business has never grown an inch or a dollar from me complaining about it. Not one time has I, have I ever had that result. Goes back to the saying I said, you can't deposit excuses. You can't deposit complaints. But you can deposit excellent product research, process-driven research. You can deposit changing listings updating descriptions, adding A plus content, revamping your images. You've been hearing the ad on our channel the last few weeks. Mommyincome.com slash photo. I mean, if you just need some updated photos, spend 50 bucks, get some new photos, get some lifestyle images. You have no idea what helps until you do it, until you nourish it. So are you nourishing your business and how? Just take some stock. Get real. What are you doing to nourish your business? I see a lot of people. This is one of the reasons, too, that we're going to close the Facebook group. I am all about having a safe place to vent and having a safe place to exercise your complaints. Because complaints are just problems that can be solved. So everyone's welcome to complain and to vent for a short period of time. But I'm always going to ask, now what, then what? We don't just get to vent, just to vent. All is not lost. It's not empty. It's not over. Suspensions can be reversed. You know, even the worst case scenario, usually the worst case scenario isn't even happening anyway. Let's be real. I've had listening suspended. I've had IP claims. I've had bad actors and bad competitors try to tank my listings and leave bad reviews. Guess what? The show goes on. My product with a really, really bad false review that was Amazon's fault never got taken down. And guess what? Still selling units over and over daily. That one bad review I thought was just going to end my listing forever. It totally didn't. Because I stopped feeding the worry and started feeding the good product. I updated the A-plus content. I changed the images a little bit. I added extra customer service. So instead of sitting around, woe is me, I'm complaining about it, there was a solution. It's to nourish the good stuff. So just keep that in mind. Keep this story in mind. Which wolf are you feeding? Because honestly, if we're honest with ourselves, we feed both wolves every day, one way or another. The one that wins is the one we feed the most. It gets stronger and more powerful the more we nourish it. 
And if you've been nourishing the angry wolf, the sad wolf, the depressed wolf, yeah, these are all real. We nourish them both different times of life. I get it. But it's time. It's time now. It's because once you hear this, you're accountable. Once you listen to new ideas, new training, or refresh your mind in a new concept, you're now accountable. You can't unlearn it. You can't unhear the tale of two wolves now. So which wolf are you feeding? If you need help, if you need support, if you need community, the Mommy Income community is here for you. I gave you four ways to join us. Becoming a student. Don't forget mommyincome.com slash system. Code or uh, coupon code Facebook. Become a student. Become part of our community. Get nourished. Get help. I've been about that since day one. And now that we're on day, uh, who knows, year eight and a half, still here, still supporting, still nourishing my students. Which wolf will you feed? And how can we help you? Y'all, I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing right now. And I'm glad you're here listening to this. Be encouraged. Feed the wolf of encouragement and kindness and growth. We'll see you same, same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.